Hello, 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 and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, and I hope that you are too. Hola, 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 y como estas? Muy bien, muy bien, y espero que tú también. Hello, Orange Room friends. Hello, Anne. Hello, Raina in the morning class, and Linda and Marie in the afternoon class. And hello to Vicky and Sadie and Olivia and Lucy and Micah and Maeve and Madison and Caitlin and Henry and Eva and Iman and Desmond and Ben and Ariane and Ari in our afternoon class. And hello to William and Seamus and Santiago and Mariana and Kareem and Nora and Nick and Maya and Juliana and Jet and Jasper and Ilan and Emily and Clara and Caroling and Bella in our morning class. I miss you guys all a lot. And I'm going to sign in because we're the orange room and we are signing in our names. And so I'm going to write Michelle on here and I'm going to use my pen and I'm going to hold it down here. And maybe you can sign in at your house on uh, some kind of piece of paper with a crayon or a marker or whatever you have. It's good to practice getting to know the letters of your name and what it looks like. And we are going to move into our calendar. I'm getting a lot of sunlight in my window, so let's see if I can get up close here. So we are in the month of May, and yesterday was Monday. And we let's count how many days we've had so far. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We're trying to find out what comes after eleven. And so yesterday was Monday, and what comes after eleven? That's what we need to know. So let's do our song. Ready? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I think we raised our hand for Tuesday. So after 11, do you think it's 12? Maybe. I think it might be. All right, let's look at our pattern, then we'll reveal the number. So we have green square, pink square, orange square, green triangle, pink triangle, orange triangle, green square, pink square, orange square, green triangle, pink triangle. So we have green, pink, orange, green, pink, orange, green, pink, orange, green, pink, and it's orange. Now, square, 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 triangle, 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 square, 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 triangle, triangle, triangle. Do you think it's an orange triangle? No. Uh, yeah, an orange triangle. Yeah, I think that's what it might be. Let's look. <gasps> and it is the number 12. Orange room friends. This is a tricky pattern. There are six parts to it. Holy guacamole. All right. Uh, let's see. So we've done that, that, that. Okay, so we need to get our mystery bag done. What's in the mystery bag? Who can tell? Maybe a unicorn. Maybe a bell. What's in the mystery bag? We can't see. It's a surprise for you and me. So let's Big or little? I think it's little. It makes a noise. Is it hard or soft? It's hard. Okay. Clue number one. <coughs> they are made of wood or plastic. Well, lots of things can be made of wood or plastic. Um, let's see. Okay, no. I'm very much in the sun. I'm trying to angle it, so I'm not. Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, Well, I mean, dice for a game could be made of wood or plastic. Let's see, clue number two. They can hold little pieces of food, like a small sandwich or a piece of cheese. Okay, so they're made of wood or plastic, and they can hold little pieces of food, like cheese or a sandwich. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, a little, a little tiny like clay 
saucer could hold that. I don't think that's what it is though. Let's see, clue number three. They can clean your teeth. Okay, so let me get this straight. I can clean a tooth with it, and it's made of wood or plastic, and it can hold a little piece of food. Hmm. Oh, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Do you have you ever seen one of these before? It's a toothpick. There's a lot of them in here. See? See all of them? I have the colored kind. They look like this. So you can use it to clean your tooth. In between your tooth. So like if you're having dinner and you get stuck a piece of like lettuce or spinach in your tooth or a blueberry after breakfast, you can use these and gently pull it out to clean your teeth. And you can also use them, sometimes you might have seen them at parties where they have like a piece of cheese on them uh, or a little olive or something like that. So, pretty interesting. I'm going to throw this away because I put it in my mouth. All right, and we will come back. We are actually, I'm going to show you what we're going to do with this right now. Um, and I'm going to read our story at the very end today. So let's move over here. Hold on, I'm going to pause for a second get reset up. All right, so I was thinking that we could take these toothpicks, and I also have a bag of marshmallows right here that uh, I asked my family if I could use. And I thought we could make a structure out of toothpicks and marshmallows. So I can just take a toothpick like this, and I can stick it in a marshmallow like this, and it sticks. And if I put a bunch together, can make something. Let's see if you can see the tag down here. I'll take it off that piece of paper so you can see it better. Let's see if we can get it stable. And how close do I have to get it to build, to make it stand up? So I can make different things. I could make a bunch of them all strung together like this. And then I could see if it makes a bridge and I could lay it across the, the blocks and see if it's sturdy like that. And see if I can make it sturdy so it'll stay. And maybe it can hold something, like maybe it can hold a, a pencil on it. So that's one thing I could build. And then um, I could also sort of put, so I put, uh, let's see if I can make this part. I put four marshmallows together on the bottom. So I put two marshmallows on this, and then I connected another marshmallow to it, and I connected another marshmallow to that, and then I connected this back to this, so it's a square on the base. And then I put them all together. And then, if I put these marshmallows, I put a one toothpick in, and a marshmallow there, and one marshmallow and a, on, a, on a toothpick over on this side, and then I put two toothpicks in this marshmallow and I put it into this like this. How high could I build this tower before it would fall? How stable? How wide do I have to make the base to make it stable? I wonder if that's gonna stay up. What do you think? Or is it gonna fall over? What should I do? Should I add another um, Ooh, maybe I just need a toothpick there of sorts on the, on the, does that help it stay stable? I wonder if I could keep adding toothpicks to it and, or oh, marshmallows on the top. How stable do you think I could get that? So I can play around with this and figure it out. And I'm wondering what kind of towers, could you make a bridge? Um, and how tall can you get it? And um, 
can you, or not how tall, can you make a bridge and how long can you get it and make it stable so it stays up and how tall of a structure can you make? Like how tall can you make this so it's stable so it doesn't fall over and go like this? You know, that's what I'm wondering. And then also, um, if I gave you, what could you do with uh, 12 toothpicks and 15 marshmallows? So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 marshmallows, and I have 12 toothpicks right here. What could I build with, with, can you see that over there? Right here I have, I have 12 marshmallows, and I have 15 toothpicks. I wonder, or 15 marshmallows and, and 12 toothpicks. And then you could do just, you could do, 15 toothpicks and only 12 marshmallows. You could do the opposite and see what you could build. And I'd be very interested to see your designs if you want to send them to me and see what you make. Um, now, if you don't have any marshmallows or toothpicks, you could use Play-Doh. Um, and you could roll the Play-Doh into balls or you could use modeling clay and roll it into balls. Um, and you could use... Uh, um, you could use straws and uh, tape them together and see if you could build a bridge with that. Um, and you could also roll up and tape the paper like we do for our art projects on the easel. And, and then you could tape rolls together and you could see if you could make a bridge that would connect together. So instead of using toothpicks, you could use paper or straws. And you, instead of using marshmallows, you could use tape. Um, or you could use the, the modeling clay instead of the marshmallows. So those are some other, other things you could use with it. Um, so now I'm going to read our story. It's right here. And this book is Titch. And it's one of my favorites. It's by Pat Hutchins. See all the big kid clothes and then the little kid clothes? Titch was little. His sister Mary was a bit bigger. And his brother Pete was a lot bigger. Pete, sorry, this book is old and falling apart. Pete had a great big bike. Mary had a, had a big bike. What do you think Titch had? Titch had a tiny little tricycle right there. They're nice to bring him along with him though. Pete had a kite that flew high above the trees. And Mary had a kite that flew high above the trees. Or high above the houses. First flew high above the houses. You see that? And Titch had a pinwheel that he held in his hand. See him right there. <laughs> They're bigger than him, right? They can do different things. So Pete had a big drum. And Mary had a trumpet. Drums make a lot of noise, don't they? Trumpets make a lot of noise. And Titch had a little wooden whistle. That makes a noise, but not as loud, does it? It's not as big. Look at the size of the, the drum and the trumpet versus his little whistle. It's smaller, isn't it? Pete had a big saw. And Mary had a big hammer. What are they making? And Titch held the nails. Because they're small and he could hold them for them, right? Pete had a big spade. That's for digging in the dirt. And Mary had a fat flower pot. 
But Titch had the tiny seed. What happens to seeds, guys? Do you remember? And Titch's seed grew. Look at it right there. It's growing. Uh-oh. And grew. And grew. So Titch's seed is bigger than his brother and sister. Mmm, pretty interesting. So sometimes when you're little, you can still do big things. All right, Orange Room friends, we are going to say goodbye, but I'm going to take this camera downstairs because I want to show you how your seeds are doing. So hold on one second. All right, Orange Room friends, I wanted to show you, I don't know if I've showed this to you, but your flower, your marigold, has a flower on it now, right there. And this one is getting huge and your lettuce is growing. I could actually make salad out of that right now. And your mint is doing very well. So your seeds that you planted are doing very, very well and growing into plants and flowers. So congratulations to you. And we will check back with these again um, in a few weeks. So it's time to say goodbye and I hope you guys have a great day.